So tonight, I'm asking every American to recommit to make America so make America what it is. great again. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yay! Okay, doke. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man. So the RNC convention kicked off yesterday and they had a lot of keynote speakers. They had single moms, they had teamsters, and they even had Amber Rose. My entire family is racially diverse, and I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. People have to do their research. I watched all the rallies, and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I realized Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> so I let go of my fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the President and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. <laughs> Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble. Just like me. When you go to the store and buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. <laughs> I know I am. And now we have Joy Reid who wants to do some commentary about her blackness. A member of Congress who was a Republican came out immediately and blamed the incident on DEI and said that the fact that there were women and black people in the Secret Service is the reason this happened. That is a member of Congress who went out on the TV and said to the world that DEI was the cause of an assassination attempt. This is where the Republican Party is. So it's ironic that they were able to um, recruit this young woman who, you know, and we're, she's a, you know, she's a racially ambiguous. I don't want to say she's black because she has said she's not. So I don't want to say this black woman, this woman who is of whatever race that she has claimed. She said she's not black. 
but they've brought somebody whose whole career is based in black culture. She was, used to be on a show on BET. That's the reason most people know who she is. She dated one of the most prominent African-American rappers in the business, in the history of hip hop. So her whole culture came from black culture, even though she says she's not a black person herself. And the fact that she is now the person they're using to try to recruit young people of color and to say that this is the person who is the endorser of Donald Trump, who you should trust, when she won't even claim the culture that brought her to the table, I'm dubious that this will work. I don't know anyone who takes their political cues from Amber Rose. But just in case you do, you might want to duplicate doing your own research because she might not have done it thoroughly. <laughs> I totally understand what Amber Rose is saying. We have a clip here of a of a man, a black man, who experienced the same thing. And let's take a look. Such as the Trump people, you know, they... They just don't want to see Hey, I wanted to take you over here with me to the Trump supporter side, and maybe you can show me if there is racism over here that I should be concerned about. He wants to know if he's going to be safe inside there if he goes. Yeah, come on in. You go with us. We're welcoming you with open arms. Hey, you guys are almost changing me around. Hold on. A few more, I might change my mind. I don't I don't see enough of me to represent with me here. Hey, you're with us. That's all that matters, and brother. Then, it don't black white don't mean shit. And now I'm gonna go over with the demonstrators with him, and he's gonna follow me around and see if I get treated with love and tolerance. Little fucking Nazi bitch. Go ahead, go over there. Yeah, go no one can hear what you're saying. You can, bitch. How do we become black? Help! 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 Now, what do you got to say about that, Joy Reid? We have a black man a FBA black man who went to a Trump rally and tested out himself. He went to one side and saw the Trump supporters. They gave him hats and hug and it's all love brother. And after that experiment, he went right across the aisle to the liberal side and he got attacked. He got called names. He got called the nigger, right? Joy Reid, you see the difference between the two parties? No. Of course, because you're too blind. You're blind with hatred. And that's your problem. And you still want to talk about Amber Rose and you want to question Amber Rose blackness. Girl, where are you from? I mean, are you qualified to question Amber Rose blackness? Your parents are from where again? And it's so funny that Joy Reid is so pro-black that just a few months ago, she was wearing a Donald Trump's toupee until somebody called you out on it. Joy, just wondering, do you think people with Trump derangement down. syndrome know they have it? Down. You're an idiot. And second question, did you steal you Trump's haircut or did he steal idiot. yours? Cultural appropriation haircut right there. She didn't like that too much. Joy Reid, everybody. Trump derangement syndrome. And now you're walking around sporting a Slim Shady hair color. It's hair free summer, everybody. Enjoy it. Who you try to be there, Joy Reid? Huh? You're not proud of your black hair, Joy Reid? You might as well color it purple and pink. Why you gotta color it blonde? The fuck out of here. <laughs> Shame on you, Mr. Matt Walsh. Shame on you. I don't know what you're trying to do, what you're trying to prove. But this is not your party, sir. Okay? Donald Trump is having a big tent party. Everybody's welcome as long as you believe in his core principles. America first. But you're trying to slut shame Amber Rose? If somebody have tattoos, they can't be a Republican? If there's a single mom who have kids out of wedlock, she cannot be a Republican? She cannot vote Republican? What are you trying to say, sir? The party is bigger than you, Matt Walsh, Daily Wire. And I'm not a big fan of Amber Rose, but I understand what Donald Trump is doing. He likes to convert people. Amber Rose went in and told a story that she was not a big Trumper, and then she converted. Myself, I didn't vote for Trump the first time. 2016, I did not vote for Donald Trump. That was the first time I didn't vote at all. I stayed out of the, the voting process. 
2018, that's when I saw the light and said, okay, Trump's a real deal. In 2020, I went hard for him, and right now I'm going hard for him also. I was not a Trumpster myself. Hell, J.D. Vance, his VP pick, he didn't vote for Trump 2016, and I believe he said he didn't vote for Trump 2020, but he converted him. That's what we're talking about. But you just want to have pure people who who vote only Republican with no tattoos, with no children, who's been married for years. That's what you're looking for. The lady just coming in and talking to other folks with 24 followers, 24 million followers also, Woo! and you want to shut her away because you don't like her. Shit, I don't like her, but I see what Trump is doing. But you wanna, you wanna, uh, uh, be a hall monitor and who could come in, who could go. It's not you, sir. It's not you. No! So, Mr. Walsh, stay in your lane, okay? You, you trying to throw a monkey wrench in this process over one lady with 24 million followers. So I, I believe she got more followers than you. Okay? So she do have some, some value to this. And you trying to make her look bad. What the fuck's your own problem? Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you haters, get your ass off my lawn.